Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Mystery. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Alright guys, for this episode I'm going to be getting a pet. That's the main goal of this episode. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go so we're going to go to our dormitories, which are, oh no, it's down in the dungeons. Okay, and we'll also be do it starting part of the next um, storyline. Okay, yeah, you access Hufflepuff because down in the dungeons because it's near the kitchens. I remember that now. So we're going to go to our dormitory and we're going to get a pet. And it looks like you can have multiple pets because you have a spot here where you can put um, the owl. All right. There's like a spot for the owl and then there's a pillow on the ground and then there's a box I guess for a rat or toad and then there's a seat. So any of these spots are where you can pick, um, you can go into the get a pet mode. You'll also see some pop up on the other levels like when you go to the ground the training grounds for your flying lessons there's a little owl sitting there and you can go click on that and on one of the floors there's a rat alright so there's different spots you can find pets okay so my first pet and I think I'm probably gonna end up getting two at some point because it seems like you can get more than one but my first pet is going to be a cat and I guess I'll put it on the pillow here. I'm gonna buy myself a cat. So I guess you can't really pick like colors or anything. I guess we'll see if there's like some customizations you can do. I don't know. So we're gonna buy the pet. Oh look we got a cat. My pet is sleeping. You can wake them up. Oh! It meows. A sleeping pet can give you energy. Awesome. So eventually I think I want to add an owl to this. Because of course I would pick cats because I love cats. I have two cats myself so that would be my first choice for a pet at Hogwarts would be a cat. But I can see that having an owl would also be handy because it can get you your mail and you can train it to deliver mail to people that you want mail to deliver to so that could be another beneficial one but I think I'm gonna wait on the owl because some people are thinking they may add the snowy owl which looks like Hedwig which is Harry's owl so they may add other versions of the animals later so I'm gonna start with just the cat so now I have my little cat there I don't know if you can like do things you know in the settings if you can do things with your pet at the moment I don't think there's an option for doing anything like it maybe at some point you might get to like give it a name but it doesn't seem like they have that option right now so I'll be thinking of a name for it and when I come up with something cuz I actually hadn't thought it through before now but um, We'll just kind of have to wait and see what they do. Speaking of cats, here's mine right here. Trying to see what I'm doing. I need to put you down right now though because you're going to mess up my recording. So yeah, um, I'm going to wait on giving it a name because at some point in the future they may have that option and then it may let you decide if you want your cat to be male or female. So I may not name it just yet. I may see how the game goes for a little bit and see if they... Um, add new features to the pet feature so we'll just have to wait and see but we've got a pet now our first pet at Hogwarts and so now we're gonna go on out and I'm going to continue the story mode which we have here we're almost through um, year one so my next activity is to assemble in the corridor because remember we were um, Rowan and I have recruited Ben Copper to help us explore the corridor and find out more about the cursed vaults so we're going to at least start that I don't think I'm gonna finish year one in today's in this video but it will be coming within the next few videos 
as I finish up the Yule Ball event because I'm going to have that as a separate video. So we're going to go ahead and start this in this video and see how far we can get. So we're going to assemble in the corridor and continue the story. So Ben says, I'll admit this is more terrifying than I've ever imagined. I spend a lot of time imagining terrifying things. You weren't lying when you said this would be dangerous, Meg. There's Filch's cat. I can see it in the distance. Oh, there it is. Miss Norris. So we have to knock her out with sleeping draught. Is everyone ready? I'm ready to run at the first sign of danger. I spent all night studying maps of this section of the castle and going over the plan, Meg. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. We should hurry. Filch or Snape might return any minute. Whew, this is getting interesting. Ben will keep Ben will Ben will keep watch to make sure no one is coming. So here I'm telling everybody my plan. So Ben's gonna be keeping watch. Rowan will give the sleeping draught to Miss Norris, and I'll use Alohomora to unlock the door. So we have all our elements. We've learned what we needed to learn to see if we can get into the corridor. I've read a lot of books, but none of them explain how to make a cat drink a potion. Uh, I mixed it with milk. Just pour it on the ground and she should lick it up. So Rowan's going to go and attempt to give the sleeping draught to Mrs. Norris so she doesn't run off and get filch. So <laughs> there she goes, pouring the potion. I imagine myself doing all sorts of things at Hogwarts, but I never thought I'd be giving a cat a sleeping draught. It's working! There she goes! <laughs> Take a little nap, Miss Norris. Brilliant plan, Meg. You have a real gift for this. If wizarding doesn't work out, you should really consider burglary. <laughs> Rowan's so crazy. Let's hurry and get inside that door. Quick, get the lock open before Filch comes back. Alright, here we go. We're going to do Alohomora. Brilliant. We got it, I think. Alohomora. Unlock you door. Flipendo! Oh no, Marula's here? Great, she's going to crash everything. Oh, she knocked Ben over. Huh? I'm like, what is going on? Flip in now. Turn around, somebody. Stop her. Oh, Rowan got knocked down. Rowan, why have I not turned around to see what's going on? Flip in now. She's going to get me now. Only an idiot like would you would give a spineless mudblood to keep watch, Mitchell. That Marula, she ruins everything. I was wondering how to unlock the door, get past that nasty cat. All I had to do was follow you and wait for you to do it for me. A cursed vault could be inside and no one is going to reach the cursed vault before me. She's crazy. Have I mentioned how much I hate Marula? I agree, Rowan. Everything was going great, and here comes Marula. Are you alright, Ben? Now I know the exact pain you saved me from when Marula was bullying me. What are you going to do, Meg? Uh, let's see. Stop her, make her pay, or help her. I don't know, I I think if we help her, we might actually find out more about the Curse Vaults, but... We'll say stop her. I can't let Marula find the Curse Vaults before me. She could ruin my chances of finding my brother. She is kind of getting in the way of our plan here, so we should stop her, probably. And why don't we... And we don't even know what's inside. What if it's an all-powerful artifact? Can you imagine an all-powerful Marula? Good point, Rowan. I'm right behind you, Meg. 
I'm afraid of what might be inside, but I'm more afraid of being alone in this corridor. Let's see what's inside this room. So I'm guessing Marula has gone on in before us, well, after she knocked us down. Alright. Get inside the locked room. Can we do that right now? Escape the ice room. Can't leave the room till you complete the activity. Alright, let's go for it. Oh, look at this. Marula? What happened? Says Ben. This is too good. <laughs> She's stuck. The ice stuck me to the floor. She's cold. Keep spreading. It's the same ice from my vision. It's our vision. It's spreading over the door too. Get me out of this ice before I hijinks the three of you. Oh man, the ice has trapped us in here. The door's frozen shut. Uh oh. We're gonna need some help. Hold on. Hit the ice. Hit ice harder. It's regrowing. Cast Flipendo. This one's hard to trace. Oh, we got it. How many times are we gonna do it? Okay, there we go. Flipendo. That's a fun word to say. Flipendo. Let's see if it gets Rowan out of there. You okay, Rowan? We have to help Ben. Now we gotta get Ben out of the ice. Ah, I missed. Okay, got it right that time. Flipendo! Thank you, Meg. I was afraid I'd freeze to death. No one cares about you. I guess we'll save her. This is going to hurt, Marula. So we're going to try to get Marula out, I guess. Alright, there we go. Flipendo. Ow! She's probably not going to be very grateful about it. She looks angry. We just saved you, girl. Hmm. Hurts, doesn't it? We have to get out of this room. Cast the knockback jinx on the door. So we got to use Flipendo to get out. Here we go. I should have brought a wand in here. The door's still stuck. What do we do? The ice is spreading fast. It's hopeless. Oh, come on, Ben. Okay, so my recording cut off just a second, but... Um, so we're in the ice room. Ben's too scared to help right now. Worthless mudblood. Marula, can't use those nice words. Don't listen to her, Ben. I know you can do this. You just have to try. Please, for your friends. I'll try. Alright, Ben's gonna try it. Oh, look! He did it! Ben got us out! You did it, Ben! I did it! Let's get out of here. Do you think this ice will keep spreading throughout the castle? Wait, look at this. What is it? What do we find? Oh, there's something on the wall. It's some sort of code. Someone left a message in the ice. I wish I had something to write it down. I already have it memorized. Let's get out of here. We escaped the room, guys.
We did it! I should have known better than to follow you idiots. I get, I'll find the real curse vaults by myself. She didn't want to say thank you for us helping her. That wasn't a curse vault, was it? It doesn't seem like it, but the ice itself did appear to be cursed. Maybe it's protecting a vault or escaping from one. Where's Ben? Did he get stuck in that room? Deciphering those runes could give us a clue. Either way, it seems your vision was some sort of prophecy. If the ice is spreading, it could eventually encase all of Hogwarts. <gasps> oh no. We can try to work it out later. Let's get back to the common room before we get caught by Filch or Snape. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, too late. There's only one place you'd be going after you've done after what you've done to Miss Norris. Miss Norris does look a little frightened. You're heading straight to Professor Snape. He'll let me use the old punishments this time. Eh, well, there you go. Report to Snape. Okay. Oh, look, my cat's with me. I don't know what happened to Ben, but... We have to go report to Snape now. We got caught anyway. You made a mess of my classroom. You dueled a student on school grounds. You brewed a sleeping drop without permission. You used said potion to incapacitate Mrs. Norris, whose only crime was protecting you from the cursed ice. You corrupted multiple students by convincing them to join your misguided venture and break school rules. And nearly got the lot of you killed. Hmm. I'm gonna go with it's all my fault. I don't think that middle answer would sit well with him. This is all my fault, Professor Snape. Please don't punish my friends. You'll all be punished. You'll have it much, much worse. 60 points from Hufflepuff. Oh goodness, we've lost house points. 60 house points. Consider yourself fortunate. If it were up to me, I'd snap your wand in half and send you to Azkaban. Man, he's got some harsh punishments in mind. We're just kids. We're curious. Unfortunately, it is not my decision. I don't understand. Professor Dumbledore has requested a private audience with you, Mitchell. Oh, great. Now we get to go to Dumbledore. Usually that works out good in the Harry Potter world, though. Get out of my sight. Whew. The headmaster would like a word with you. Okay, we can't do that for seven hours. I'm trying to save my gems, so... What can we do? So, we'll probably do that in the next episode, guys. Report to um, Dumbledore. So I am trying to save some gems and kind of stock up for um, events later. I'm also working on completing the um, Yule Ball event, which we'll complete in another video, hopefully. I've just sort of been like repeating classes and um, just do. I'm doing that on my own this time so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me go through repeated lessons. But um, anyway, that'll be all for this episode today. Thanks for hanging out. Um, let's go back out into the hall. I'm going to go to my dormitory, I guess. And I'll hang out in my dorm for a while till our next... Oh, we can attend the house meeting. We'll do that next time. The main focus of this episode was to get the, the cat. Which we did. So we have our pet. And we've learned more about these cursed vaults and this room. room. So we'll have to find out more about the ice. And we'll have to see what Dumbledore says in the next episode. So that'll be it for today, guys. Thanks for hanging out and watching. 
slap a like on the video if you're enjoying this Hogwarts mystery gameplay and click subscribe if you want more Harry Potter content and I will see you next time. Alright? Mischief managed. Bye.